Anyone fancy a bit more archery? Good. We've got the bronze medal match in the men's individual coming up. The Islamic Republic of Iran represented here by the world number six, a Tokyo Paralympian, he's 38 years old, Mohammad Reza Zandi. And he's going up against one of the superstars of the sport from the Czech Republic, David Drahaninsky. So, Dranitsky really is a superstar here. Let's just go through his Paralympic record. 2008 Beijing, individual gold. 2012 London, individual silver. 2016 Rio de Janeiro, individual silver and the mixed team bronze medal. 2020 in Tokyo, which actually took place in 2021, he got the mixed team silver and the individual gold medal. He is one of the rock stars of this sport. And he's competing for the bronze medal here. No pressure on his opponent, Mohammad Reza Zandi of Iran. Let's get this one underway. Drahinsky of the Czech Republic to start the bronze medal match. Ten. So an interesting contraption being used by uh, Mohammed Reza Zandi of Iran. Just dropping low for his first arrow. Didn't get his sight right. So yeah, you can see the peg in his mouth and as he squeezes the peg, that pulls on the cable, the cable sets a release aid off. Well, that's a pretty solid start, a 29 out of a possible 30 for Dranitsky. Just getting a bit of a spread of his arrows there for a 21. And that is a mountain to climb, and we've only had one end of this bronze medal match. Zandi will shoot first in the second end, but he's got a lot to live up to here. Look at that grouping, Nikki. It's incredible from Dryaninsky. Yeah, it really is top level shooting. A 29 out of 30, uh, 50 meters away, this 80 centimeter face. So really, really amazing shooting. Iranian coach just come up to give some advice to his archer, just to help him get settled in on this finals field.
good close up there of the uh, release aid unique release aid and number two underway that is what Zandi needed right in the middle of the target what a super shot that is Yeah, really nice. Look at that design. So as you pinch that closed peg, it's going to open up the jaw, pull that cable through it, set off that release aid. So he's doing his normal job. He's just setting everything up. He won't have the dexterity in his fingers to be able to set the release aid off in a you know more conventional way. These archers must have an impairment in upper limb and lower limb and core. Finishes on 48 through 57. So we're going to go through to the end of or the conclusion of this end. Draninski. Oh, look at that grouping. It's absolutely phenomenal. 58 plays 48, and that lead gets ever bigger. And what form is Draninski on? Yeah, he's shooting so well. <laughs> 58 out of 60. I think he could beat most people right now. Well, a 10-point gap between these two as David Draninski of the Czech Republic leads this bronze medal match. Mohamed Reza Zandi of Iran has shown some form in the second end. He needs to bring that into the third. Just see a bit of a, a cant, a lean of his bow. These archers don't get the option of having a spirit level, a W1 level. Nine. There's no magnified sights, no peep sights, and a limited bow of up to 45 pounds maximum draw weight.
Well, it's going to be very, very tricky, as you said, Nicky, for anyone to take on David Drahinsky here. The groupings are absolutely incredible. He hasn't missed a yellow at all in this match. Yeah, superb shooting, isn't it? He's really in the groove. He's so experienced, as we talked about earlier. All those Paralympic medals. He's come here to get another World Championship medal. So time for end number four. Dran Hinsky in charge of the match. Zandi has just got to put that to one side and shoot his best arrows. A little bit of movement on that shot. wasn't quite as composed. Nice to Nine. get it nice and steady before releasing. Nine. This is better. This is what he can do. Just drifted out into the eight. Best score of uh, the match so far for Zandi. Finishes on a 103. One more end to go. How big can Drahinsky make this lead? Well, it's pretty spectacular. A 115 plays a 103 here. He's got more than an arrow in hand here, the uh, athlete from the Czech Republic. Glimmer of hope, though, for Zandi with those three arrows in that fourth end. I mean, he's really shown what he can do, and I think you know, he just had such a slow start. I don't know what went wrong for him at the very beginning. Was it nerves? Was it you know, getting into this venue was so different from shooting in the qualifying rounds and even the matches leading up to the finals venue? And you know, was he unsettled by the environment, or was there something not quite right with his equipment in that first end? But you know, he's really shown us you know what he is capable of and would have been a much tighter match um, if he'd got into it a bit quicker. You're watching the 2022 World Archery Para Championships and listening to the expert opinion of former world number one Nikki Hunt in this W1 individual men's bronze medal match between David Draninsky of the Czech Republic and Mohamed Reza Zandi of the Islamic Republic of Iran and it's uh, this man here Zandi who is struggling 12 points down he'll shoot first in the final end he's looking for some big scores with his three arrows and for an error from his opponent which doesn't look likely to happen Nine. 
gap remains. Puts it out of reach. He knows he's got the bronze medal. Zandi knows it's out of reach. Can let this one fly. No pressure. Finishes with one of his best shots so far of the match. And a 130 for Zandi. What's the final score going to be next to? the bronze medalist from the Czech Republic. Uh, it's going to be one, four, three, an absolute beautiful piece of archery from David Draninsky. And again here in Dubai, he's going to be on the podium and he is overcome with emotion. The power of sport right here, right now. This man lives for archery and every medal is something special to him.